Okay guys, welcome to WWE 2K15. This is 2K Showcase. Now, I'm aware that everyone and their mother has already seen this, and seeing as we're probably on the road to the making of 2K16, uh, which I'm expecting to be released in November of this year, probably. Probably sometime down the line a bit more. But, um... I actually wanted to do uh, a Let's Play of this uh, beforehand. As you can see, I've, I've already done um, the first two matches of hustle, loyalty, and respect, but we're going to start fresh from this. So, uh, I'm going to ask uh, this only one time. This is the first episode of this series. If you please leave a like if you enjoy this video. Uh, only if you enjoy this video, because if you don't, what's the point? Um, and uh, we'll kick right off into watching the opening of this. Here, where conflict is king. Where the strong rise up. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this! It's man versus man. From out of nowhere! It's those moments of conflict that can make us define us the boyhood dream has come true and create a rivalry are you ready through vindictive actions why did the game pedigree his best friend Shawn Michaels or simply pure hatred before I leave in three weeks with your WWE championship I have a lot of things I want to get off my chest. From a leader of a nation. I'm the best because I have this and I earned it. To the voice of the voiceless. I hate this idea that you're the best because you're not. I'm the best. I'm the best in the world. From a show-stopping legend. As a man, sometimes you gotta know when to fight. And the time to fight is now. To a cerebral assassin. HBK is dead! It's time to face facts, Sean. And the fact is, the game has passed you by. It's the indelible influence of two icons. The champ is here! that creates a rivalry. Rivalries shape a superstar. I am the game! Defining the path to superstardom. And there are no rivalries like ours. Okay, so what we are going to be starting off with is Hustle, Loyalty, Disrespect, which is what we'll be going into straight away. On June 20th, 2011, three men battled for a chance to challenge John Cena for his WWE Championship. Alberto Del Rio, Rey Mysterio, CM Punk, the winner, will face John Cena for the WWE Championship. Remember, triple threat rules, first man to pick up the and ball wins. Six one done. Mysterio, will he be number one contender at Punk? CM Punk saving it. CM Punk is number one contender. But a shot at the gold was not enough for CM Punk. Punk was determined to ignite a spark of change in the WWE. Brutal honesty, the Nexus I'm known for July 17th is the day my contract with World Wrestling Entertainment comes to an end. When the clock strikes midnight, I am leaving. And I am leaving with the WWE Championship. John Cena goes one on one with R Truth in a tables match. To bring about the change he so desperately desired, the best in the world set his sights on the champion. What the fuck doing out here? The number one contender and the WWE champion going at it. And look at Truth! Truth puts Cena through a table! <laughs> Punk has cost Cena the match! He don't care what he does right now, I don't think. The WWE Universe was about to learn. 
that the most dangerous men are the ones that feel they have nothing to lose. There's one thing you're better at than I am, and that's kissing Vince McMahon's ass. Oh! Do I have everybody's attention now? The only thing that's real is me. Oops, I'm breaking the fourth wall. For almost six years, I have proved to everybody in the world that I am the best on this microphone, in that ring, and I'd like to think that maybe this company will be better after Vince McMahon's dead. If CM Punk defeats you, he's going to walk out of here. I'm going to be embarrassed. This iconic battle at Money in the Bank was CM Punk's proving ground. You beat to your own drum, but in the path of doing things you want to do, you've lost sight of everything. I am the underdog, and you are is what you hate. You're a dynasty. The stakes had never been higher. If CM Punk walks out with this championship, yeah, fire! This was Punk's chance to make history. Say goodbye to the WWE title and say goodbye to CM Punk. Do I have everybody's attention now? Man, John Cena losing to our truth. That would never happen in this day and age. All right, Chicago, Illinois. July 17th, 2011. Oh, they got the CM Punk chance as well. Ladies and gentlemen, a partisan hometown crowd here in Chicago for CM Punk. Oh, that's right, CM Punk is in front of his hometown followers. And that's what John Cena is going to have to overcome. You know, I have never seen this much hometown emotion. Damn. I remember watching this for the first time and like it was when I was actually uh, getting back into wrestling fully without like really losing anything and it was the first time that I actually saw the heel really getting behind uh, really getting the crowd behind him it was it was something new it was something inspiring for like a new age of wrestling Oh, look at that, it's playing the crowd. See, this is what I like, attention to detail in this. It's called moves. Oh. I like this. It's Cockabana there. Cockabana and, uh... Oh, I forgot his name, but damn it. I'll remember in a minute. Oh my god, they're booing him! <laughs> Seen this getting booed! <laughs> See, this is this was different as well. Was well, not really, but seeing Cena like get what he was getting at this point in time, just his head down with the title above his head. And his fucking face as well. Ew. Oh, WWE title. The WWE Championship. Show up, Justin Roberts. Introducing first the challenger from Chicago, Illinois, weighing 222 pounds, C. N. Pump. Uh. And his opponent from West Newbury, Mass. West Colt Cabana, weighing 240 pounds, is the current. 
WWE Champion. Let me call Caban down John there. Cena. And ladies and gentlemen, it's all about the WWE Championship, the holy grail of the WWE King, formed by Mr. McMahon's father, Vince Senior, back in 1963. That's right, and CM Punk wants to take it from the WWE. Good. And here we All right, go. here we go. This be CM Punk's ultimate moment to disgrace WWE. Will he leave the company with the ah, I got you, bitch. of the WWE on, Cena. I wouldn't doubt Kick it your ass. Medical. CM Punk always seems to get the job done. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing this chain wrestling. And this hometown Ow. crowd is Fuck certainly going to do their part. You know that. Well, without a doubt, King, I just saw a sign that said, if CM Punk loses, we riot. <gasps> oh. From uh, ECW 2006, the RBD. Ask any superstar what their favorite arena is, and nearly every one of them will tell you this one here tonight. There's something about the acoustics, coupled with the crowd's intense passion for WWE, that makes this place electric. All yeah, right. you know what? By the end of the night, Cole, it may become Mr. McMahon's least favorite arena. Listen to this crowd. Yeah, they want to see CM Punk walk away with the WWE Championship. Yeah. So you know. All right, so once these commentators start to shut up, I'll be able to get my words out. So this was like when I was first getting back into wrestling. I think it was like, um, I think it was 11 years old at the time, or I might have been 10 years old. But um, I stopped, I stopped watching wrestling for a bit. Uh, I think it was solely due to, um, I don't know, just like a lot of like, moves and stuff moving school and all that but you know, once I got back I into wrestling and I started watching on TV this was like the first feud I ever started what to watch is, how Mr. McMahon put and I was a really big fan of CM Cena Punk straight from, straight from the get-go hey, since ECW 2006 was uh but he did admit that Jesus he did what he had to do to Here we go. Punk Elbow to the chest, happen. away from well, the hard camera. I just think there's a better way of going about the whole situation. But we'll find out soon enough. Oh, I hate this fucking second rope shit. Alright, what's that? Perform a top rope signature move. So that's the, uh, Macho Man. Oh, come for on. I'm going for Macho Man then. Oh! oh. Excuse me, Jerry Law. You can shut up. Look at the strength and the power. What's he gonna do here? Oh my God! It looks like John Cena's going for the AA. No, don't you dare, Cena. He's out of the AA. Fuck you. Gee, oh come on. He's got the STF. You asshole. Yeah. The announcers. Oh, the Anaconda Vice. There we go. Mr. McMahon did say earlier. Ah, get some damage out. John Cena brought this upon himself. Yep, Cena. Begged for Mr. McMahon to reinstate Punk to put himself Fuck in you. his position here tonight. What? Okay. You know what? That's an argument. You can't say that John Cena brought this upon himself by doing the Screw right thing. Screw you. John Cena gets shut down. I wish his commentators would shut the fuck up. Because they keep talking over me. That's the only problem with these like 2K showcase kind of things, is that they always end up like talking over you. There's the bulldog. All right, former GTS. Now I really, really like this animation for the GTS that they did. Oh come on, they're not gonna show it. Oh shit. No. Not at all, because remember, Cena's got champion's advantage here. If Cena's counted out, he'll retain the championship. And Punk knows that. And Punk's got to get Cena back in the ring before Cena's counted out to have any chance at winning the title. Champion's yeah, advantage is fucking stupid. Of dead weight, but he, he gets it back in. Too much of a to cover. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ew! <laughs> Mr. McMahon and the executive... Look at Vince! Relations, John Laurinaitis are out here. Ooh, look at For his what? face. Why are they out here? Well, I mean, this match is about Mr. McMahon's legacy. No, but it's not. To leave the company with the WWE. Oh, oh right. God. Look at Cena. Cena picking the leg. Look Cena going for the STF. He's got it. Hey, oh, Mr. much of a screw job. He's calling for the bell. Go for the screw job. He's still alone. Oh, 
You heard Cena, King, he said he, he wants to win this the right way, not the cheap way. Hey, man's not gonna win this fight. And Mr. Sorry, what? Man, man's not gonna win this fight. Well, John, hey, yeah, fuck you. Again. Here we go, here's all the animation I'm about. Look at that cell. All right, we're done here. We're done. We One, go. two, three. Suck it, Vince! I cannot believe this! CM Punk has won the WWE Championship! Mr. McMahon is in shock! In one hour, CM Punk is no longer an employee of the WWE! And he's gonna leave as WWE Champion! What is Mr. McMahon gonna do? This fire burns. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it right now! Cut that! Cut it! Cut it! Cut oh, that, but I love the song! Vince, you asshole! Give me that Alberto, you fucking yeah, Alberto racist. He doesn't even know the name of his employees. Boom! <laughs> Look at that face. You can tell Punk was not scammed. Bye, Vince. Kiss him goodbye. Mr. McMahon's 50 year legacy of the WWE Championship has got up in smoke. Yeah. Look at poor Mr. McMahon. What's he going to do? This is awful. <laughs>